Hey everyone, welcome back. So today in this video, we are going to create a Python script to download images from the Unsplash website. So there would have been many times when you had to download some images. So you would go to some free websites like this Unsplash and you made a search like nature and now you would go to each image and right click on them and download the image. So you would do this manually and it's quite a cumbersome task when you have to download many images of different resolutions. So with Python, we are going to automate this task. We just have to enter the search query in the console and also the resolution and it will download the images for us. So let's see how to do this. So first of all, we will import some modules. So first of all, we will need a request module and we will also import OS to actually create some directories and also import shuttle that will help us to delete a directory. And we will also import threading since we are going to download the images. So we don't want this to happen slowly. So we will use threading so that it happens in sort of parallelly. So now let's create a simple function get links that will actually fetch us the links of the images. And let's create here links equal to get links. Now let's see how to fetch the links of the images. So let's right click on it and click on inspect. So you can see this is the image tag and it contains many URLs here. It don't contain just one, it contains many and each URL corresponds to different resolution. For example, this one is of 100 width and this one is of 200. This one is 400. This one is 600 and many more 1000, 1100. So we want all this resolution so that we can give the user a choice that which resolution image he wishes to download. So first of all, we need to target this tag. So it's inside this figure tag. So let's write a selector. So it will be figure. Then we will take this tag, this, this and we can directly hit this one. So let's write the selector for this. So first of all, this get links function will accept a URL of the image and then we will access or get the response from that URL. So we will do request dot get and here will be URL. Now we also need to use beautiful soup to fetch all the links. So let's import it from ds4 import beautiful soup and here we will initialize the soup. So soup equals to beautiful soup and here will be the page content and here will be the parser that will be html dot parser. Now let's create a dictionary image links that will actually hold image links corresponding to every resolution so that it will be easier for us to access with resolutions. So now after this we will get all the tags and we will do using soup dot select and here we will need to pass the selector of that image tag. Now it's in the figure tag and then we have div of this class. So let's just copy this. So we have figure inside that we have div with class this one and inside that we have another div with class l3408 and inside that we have another class which is zmdax now inside that we have a anchor tag and then we have an image tag with this class name so image dot this one so now this should contain our all the tags so let's check this print image tags now before seeing the result let's first write some code here so we will have a base url and that will of unsplash so let's copy the url from here and the base url will be this one and after this we will ask the user to make a search so we will have search equals to input and here we will have what you want to search for now whatever user enter here we will then create a url corresponding to that search so let's see how the url changes when we make a search so this is the base url now let's search something here like nature now you can see the website just changes to unsplash.com slash s slash photos slash nature so basically this is our search now let's see how the url changes when we have multiple words in our search query so let's say nature background so our search result actually contains a hyphen so the words are separated using hyphen here so this is how we will form our search query here so here we will write search query url and it will be first of all let's modify this it will be s and then photos and after this here we will be using base url plus and we will split the search result from space so we will do this using search dot split and it will be from space and this will give us a list of all the words now what we want is to join all these words in the list using hyphen so we will just do here hyphen dot join and we will pass this list into this now this is the url that will actually help us to get all the images so let's pass this url in the get links search query url now i think it should work fine let's return image tag so now let's run the code and see if we get all this image tags or not so let's run the code and let's make a search here nature and we should get the tags okay so we got the empty list it means we have done something wrong so 
okay so this url is a bit wrong here we have to provide a slash now we should work fine so let's make a search nature and we got all the tags here and there are many tags actually and corresponding to them there are many resolutions as well so we have successfully extracted the image tag now our task is to extract the links and the resolution so we will just iterate here for tags in image tags now we need to see in which part our links is actually contained so here we will see in inspect so this is the tag which we actually printed and in this we want the value of this attribute src set which actually contains all the url and the resolution so let's extract this value so here we will write links equal to tags dot ttrs and here we will pass the attribute that is src set and let's print this for now let's see what actually we are getting from this now let's run the code let's make a search nature okay so we got the urls now you can see that each line is actually one image which actually has multiple resolutions so and these resolutions are separated by comma so we need to extract this resolution so we'll just split the url from comma so that we can get the list of urls so let's iterate over them let's name this data actually for now datas so now we will do for data in datas and here we will get the image links and that will be actually data dot split and it will be on comma now doing this we should have a list which will contain link and the resolution so let's print this first print image links image links and run the code so let's write here search nature okay so we have something wrong here okay we actually had to split here first so data equals to data dot split and here we will first split by comma this will actually give us list of urls and resolutions and here we will iterate over each list and we will then again split them from space so that we have a resolution and a link separately in a list so now let's run the code so as you can see we have a list which contains link and resolution so zeroth index is a link and first index is the resolution but some of them actually have empty string in front of them so we will be accessing the links by zero index and the resolution by first index but for that we actually need to remove this empty string so that we can implement that on each list so here we will first make a check or before making a check let's create a variable resolution index and it will be one and link index and it will be zero now this will fail in case the list contains more than two elements so we will check if length of image links is equal equal to three if this is the case then we will just remove the first index value so we will do image links dot pop zero so this will pop actually the zeroth index so we will end up having only this much in our list so after this we will actually store everything in this image link dictionary now the way we are going to store this in the dictionary is in this format so we will have the resolution for example 100 width and corresponding to that we will have the links and this will be the list of links since corresponding to 100 width resolution we will have multiple links not just one so first of all we will make a check if this resolution is already present in our dictionary or not if it is not present then we will create an empty list corresponding to this key so we will see if not image links okay so we have same variable names here so let's just change this image link and also here let's just name this image now we will check if the dictionary actually contains the resolution key or not so we will say if not image links and here the key will be image and the index and index will be resolution index and here will be the dot get so we are trying to access this key in the dictionary if it is not available then we will actually assign this key with a empty list so we'll do image links and here the key will be image and resolution index and it will be the empty list but if this is not the case then we will append this link to this list so we will do image links and the key will be image and resolution index and it will be dot append and the link will be link index and that's it we have the dictionary having the resolution and each resolution having a list of links so let's check this if it actually runs or not so we will print here image links now let's run the code let's make a search nature and let's see if it gives our result or not okay so we have an error here image links dot get image image resolution index okay so we have to remove this it should be image dot pop now so let's run the code again and make the search okay so we have a error here unhashable type list so we have made some mistake here okay so we don't need this brackets actually and now it should work fine let's run the code again 
let's make a search oh again we have made a mistake actually it should not be else part it should be outside the else part so let's hope it actually gives us the required result now yes so we have dictionary having resolution and corresponding to that resolution we have list of links so that's what we were hoping for and we got the result now after we get the links we need to download this so let's create a download function here def download image this will take a url and let's also pass an index here to save the image in a fixed pattern now let's make a request here with request dot get and here we will pass the url of the image as r and here we'll open a file let's give a path of the file so we will have a folder path here so folder and after this we will have image which will have index and it will be dot jpg and we should open it in the right byte and sf now we will write here f dot write content of the request so r dot content and that's it this will download our image now we need to specify the folder name here so let's create this here folder equals to unsplash and we will make this folder using os module we will check if os dot path dot exists if folder already exists then we want to actually delete this so we will use shuttle module shuttle dot rm tree and it will delete the folder and we will create another one os dot mkdir folder now download image function is done now let's print a proper message here when the image gets downloaded so we'll do print image index downloaded now after this we also want user to make a choice of which resolution image he wants to download so we'll accept resolution here actually before accepting the resolution we will first display all the available resolutions so all the available resolution is in links so we'll do for link in actually resolution in links and we will print the resolution and let's display a proper message here available resolution and after this we will ask the user for the resolution so resolution equals to input and say enter image resolution you want to download and we are getting this error because we have not returned the links so let's return this here return image links now after asking the resolution we will also give user an option to choose number of images he wants to download so we will first display the number of images available so we will do f string number of images available and it will be links and its resolution key this will give us a list of links and we want to find its length so length now this will give us or uh, the number of images available corresponding to that resolution now here we will ask the user for the number of images so quantity equals to input enter number of images you want to download and we will convert this quantity into a list sorry integer so now we need a list containing this many url so we will do required urls and it will be links resolution index i mean resolution and it will contain elements from 0 to quantity and after this we will iterate through this url and pass it to this function so let's do for url in required urls and we will do download image here we will pass the url and index let's make an index here index comma enumerate now you should download our image now let's see how much time it actually takes to download the images so let's import time module and we will do start time dot time and here we will just print image downloaded and we'll print time took it will be time dot time minus start so we have completed this now let's run the code and see if it actually runs or not so what you want to search for nature now it should give us all the resolutions okay so we have this many available resolution so the resolution i want to download will be 1100 w now the number of images available are 40 so let's download 10 images for now so you can see it actually starts downloading the images 0 1 2 8 9 and it took about 7 seconds or almost 8 seconds to download the 10 images let's see if we actually got our images or not so unsplash folder is created here and it contains 10 images so you can see all the images are downloaded successfully now for 9 images it took about 8 seconds it took almost uh, close to one second for each images so it's actually quite a long time because when you start to download large number of images 
then it will take minutes of your time downloading those files so it's actually slow so we will be using threads to counter this problem so we have already imported the threads so we will actually here initialize the threads so def initialize threads and here we will create a list of threads and initialize threads will actually contain list of urls and it also will take uh, index here and after this we will do url in urls and we will create a thread it will be threading dot thread and here we need to provide a target that will be actually the function which is responsible to download the image so we will say target equals to download image and the arguments that this download function takes will be here arcs equal to and it will be a tuple so it will take url and index and we will append this thread into threads so right now we are just creating the thread we are not running it so let's do append and it will be t so we have created all the threads for all the urls now we just need to start it so we'll do for thread in threads and we will do thread dot start and let's create one more function download from this we will actually call the initialize thread function download and it will take the urls and from here we will call the initialize threads now let's remove this from here and from here we will just call the download function which will take the required urls now let's see how much time it actually takes to download the images so let's run the code what you want to search for let's write lion let's choose the resolution 2000 and the images available are 38 and i want to download all 38 images okay so there is a problem actually this index is not actually increasing so let's check this here so we need to do this index plus one index plus equals to one now we should work fine let's run the code again let's choose the resolution 2000 images 38 so you can see how fast the images are downloading now so it just took 8 seconds to download 38 images which is a lot faster from what we had seen before before it took 8 seconds to download just 10 images while we are downloading the 38 images in just 8 seconds so we have successfully completed the script now you can download any images without actually opening the unsplash website so this script is quite useful when you want to download many images of different resolutions so that's it for this video we'll meet you in the next one bye bye